Hillary Clinton is out with a brand new book, folks. Comically, the title of this new book is What Happened, which pretty much sums up the head-scratching left's collective response to President Donald Trump beating her in the general election last November. Only her book is supposed to be the statement, What Happened, as if we don't know and we need the smartest woman in the world to explain it to us. Nobody bought her last book, Hard Choices, and early sales indicate that nobody is buying this one. As a promo, she released this bit of audio. It was incredibly uncomfortable. He was literally breathing down my neck. My skin crawled. Do you stay calm, keep smiling, and carry on as if he weren't repeatedly invading your space? Or do you turn, look him in the eye, and say loudly and clearly, Back up, you creep. Get away from me. I know you love to intimidate women, but you can't intimidate me, so back up. Now I know what you're thinking. What woman wouldn't feel this way crawling into bed with a known rapist every night? Obviously, she's referring to her husband, Bubba, and I thought the same thing. But she's actually talking about her debates with Donald Trump. And as you can hear, she's desperate to convince somebody, probably herself, that she didn't find the whole experience intimidating. What's funny is it hadn't crossed my mind until she brought it up. But I guess knowing you're a complete liberal airhead with no coherent message and unable to fill half a high school gym, debating such a popular, powerful force to be reckoned with like Donald Trump would be intimidating. I'll bet it hadn't crossed Trump's mind either. She's the only one talking about it, which leads me to believe she was, in fact, very intimidated. Feeling a need to yell at someone to back off demonstrates the fact that you feel intimidated. If you watch the debate, the moment she's referring to occurs only because she charged across the stage and invaded his personal space. Trump is then standing for a moment several feet behind her. That's her definition of being creeped out? talk about a snowflake. She's obviously never met gaff machine Biden. If nothing else, the book is just her latest opportunity to fire her blame thrower and see what sticks. Once again, she blamed everyone but herself. But as I've said many times before, Hillary lost because she was a terrible candidate and is a horrible human being. What happened doesn't try to explain anything people really want to know. Like, for example, what happened to Seth Rich? the DNC whistleblower murdered after turning over emails to WikiLeaks that prove collusion between Hillary's campaign and the DNC to rig the primary against Batty Bernie. What happened there, Hillary? Why don't you write a nice fat book about that? Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.